Hi folks, it's Josh Clark, Restoration Coordinator with WSA. Uh, I am going to be going over uh, GIS in a series of videos here that will hopefully help you navigate the site. Um, I'm going to break it up into different components so you can kind of zoom in where you need to zoom in as you're completing your neighborhood source assessment and eventually your residential site assessment. Uh, this is a really great tool that is used um, by stewards for various reasons. Um, it can be a little intimidating, but I just want to say from the offset that if you have any questions, I'm always available to help you. Um, we can set up meetings, you can give me a call. I'm happy to help as I can. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to get to the county GIS. Uh, we will be sharing the direct link in your session two or session three links um, moving into next week. Um, but a really easy way to get to the site is to go to Google. And in the Google search bar, you're going to type WPRP GIS and hit enter. And typically the first um, link that comes up is where you want to go. So right here you can see it says WPRP. I'm going to click on that. Keep in mind that this um, website has a lot of information. It takes a little bit of time to load. Um, so it's working on coming up here. Um, but if you've done it correctly, it's gonna start with Anne Arundel County and the county seal here while it's loading the rest of the information. So as the website opens, it opens on this screen. Uh, you can kind of see the bay over to the right. You can see Anne Arundel County over to the left. Um, and I'm gonna go over some really brief components of what you're looking at right now. So we start out on what is known as the map tab. So if you look up here, I'm hoping you can see my pointer, but in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, um, there's a tab that says map. There's also a tab that says tools. Uh, for right now, we're gonna stay on the map. Um, so if you hold down your left uh, mouse clicker, you can move the map around. I would highly suggest trying to use this site with a mouse. It makes things a lot easier. Um, you can zoom in by using the wheel on your mouse. It's really helpful if you have a wheel on your mouse. And as you can see, I'm moving in and out with just my mouse. But if your mouse does not have a wheel, you can also use the plus and minus uh, buttons here um, in the upper left-hand corner of the actual map. Um, on this side, this little um, scroll down here are what are known as layers. Uh, the, the term layers comes from our background in drafting. Um, so if you imagine each of these little toggles on the left-hand side being a layer of trace paper, um, each layer of that trace paper holds a set of information. So when you turn on and off these toggles, uh, you're placing a layer of trace over this map that has specific information. Um, that'll become a little bit more apparent and we can talk about that more in following videos. Uh, the other thing that I wanna point out right now is what is known as the identify tool which is up here in the upper left-hand corner. Um, and what you use that for is when you actually have pieces of trace or layers on, um, you can actually click on your map and wherever you click will pull up the information that the layer has on it. Um, the last thing that I wanna show you is this little blue box here. It's called I want to. Um, and that is actually how you are able to look at specific sites. If you click on the blue I want to, um, it turns into a couple search options here. And typically you'll be using um, find address, uh, find landmark, or find intersection. So we'll talk about that in the next video. Um, but the, other, the last thing that I really want to point out in this video is that if you look in the Annapolis area here, it's grayed out. And if you look at the Fort Meade area up here, it's grayed out. And if you were to turn on the layers, you're going to find that information for those two areas are not available. Um, this website is very specific to the county. Um, now you might still get some data and you can still zoom in and you know see what's going on in Annapolis and you can still produce maps with the county GIS, um, but just know that the data that's within the city's limits are going to be pretty limited. Um, but this is actually a really great way to tell if your site is within the county or within um, the city of Annapolis. So that 
is all for this video and stay tuned for the next one.